851. It is great to be back on a Wednesday on KCMO Talk Radio. Thanks to Ray Stevens holding it down the last uh, couple of days as we had daughter number three, Charlotte Rose, born Sunday at 1235. Uh, who won those auto show tickets, John Anthony? So there we go. Push the button on. Mike's in uh, Kansas City, north of the river, listening today. He's glad you're back because he was caller 10. All right. Picks Congratulations. Picks up the four pack of tickets, and we'll have some more with uh, Mark Levin show later today. All right. That's right. 5.30. And then we do it all the rest of the week. Right? Yep. This week and next week, yeah. by the all way. All right. All right. So we've got two weeks of auto show tickets, uh, 8.45, and then during the Mark Levin show at 5.30. Here on KCMO Talk Radio. We're giving away grand prize, the TV that is Y-U-G-E. Yes, 75-incher. Yes, sir. So thank you for... $500 worth of groceries. Yes. So uh, there is a grand prize as well associated with this 75-inch TV and 500 bucks in groceries, which in, you know, Joe Biden's America gets you a few uh, bags of fruit. (laughs) Come on, man. You know, you can get strawberries for a week with your 500 bucks. There you go. All right, it's Wednesday. Let's roll. KCMO Talk Radio. Now on FM at 95.7. It's time for What If Wednesday. What if instead of having you on this radio station, there was somebody else? All righty, John. Let her rip three questions on a What If Wednesday for me. How about this one? What if the city council members had read Dr. Seuss' book on National Reading Day? Well, then they wouldn't have gone viral. Last night. Last night. If you haven't seen it, it's up on my Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, page, at Pete Mundo. It now has 1.2 million views. It is a video that was posted to YouTube over the weekend on the official Kansas City, Missouri page. And it's a video of city leaders, elected and unelected. Mayor Lucas is on here. Jonathan Duncan, who's on the city council. Andrea Boo, who is on the city council. City Manager Brian Platt, uh, Lindsey French, Rihanna Park Shaw, two council members right there. Uh, Who else is on this? Uh, Sheree Honeycutt, the press secretary. They are uh, reading a book. And uh, the book's a real gem. The book is about uh, teddy bears. And the book is about a teddy bear. It's called Introducing Teddy. It's a book about a teddy bear who decides that he's not a boy teddy bear anymore. Instead, he's a girl teddy bear. His name was Thomas, and he tells his friend Errol when he's having a bad day, in my heart, I've always known that I'm a girl teddy, not a boy teddy. And I wish my name was Tilly, not Thomas. So it's this video, and I'll play it probably, uh, we'll get to that at 930 this morning, next hour. I'll play the video for you. Uh, But you can listen to members of the city council read this book. Introducing Teddy, a gentle story about gender and friendship over the weekend. And it's up on their YouTube page. And it got like 60 views. No one saw it. And then this viral account, Libs of TikTok, took it, posted it to Twitter, and it's got 1.2 million views. And if they had just read Green Eggs and Ham, nobody would know about this. Or a favorite at your house, Hop on Pop, because it was Dr. Seuss's birthday, yes. the point of National Yes, yes. Yeah. That's all any normal person would ask for. Hey, it's National Reading Day in honor of Dr. Seuss's birthday. Well, we can't read a Dr. Seuss book. He's been mm-hmm. canceled. So let's read a book about how a teddy bear who was a boy now wants to be a girl, because that's the kind of stuff that our leaders should be doing in this town. Hey, could you guys fix the potholes and, you know, try to lower crime? No dice, but I got a transgender teddy bear here for you. All right. What's next, John? What if Taylor Swift doesn't specifically endorse a candidate? Well, then Grandpa's going to be very upset. Come on, man. Very, very, very upset. Uh, They are literally hinging, I think, the Biden reelection campaign in part on Taylor Swift. And Donald Trump is awful and the world's going to end if you elect or reelect Donald Trump. That's all they've got. Orange man bad. Taylor saved the day. Those are their two campaign mottos. Yet yesterday, Taylor Swift had an opportunity to do something of this ilk. And at least on Super Tuesday, she chose not to. All Taylor Swift did was put up an Instagram story that read, I wanted to remind you guys to vote the people who most represent you into power. Well, when you look at the polls right now, 
and there's been a handful of them that are all showing Donnie leading Joey in the last few days, I agree with Taylor. Vote the people who most represent you into power. And when you look at the polling, there's a certain way the American people are falling on that right now. At no point in time did Donald Trump lead Joe Biden in a major poll in 2020. There's now three to four in the last few days where he's up anywhere from two to five points. So I'm with Taylor, and um, I think that Joseph is going to be very upset when he gets to November 4th, and there is nothing from Taylor showing love for Gramps. What's last? All right, peering about 10 minutes into our future here, what if Nikki Haley doesn't endorse Trump by name? It won't matter for now. Uh, There is time for that to happen. It may happen down the road. But I think what we're going to get from Nikki Haley, and she's set to announce her campaign suspension here coming up in just a few minutes. We'll carry it on KCMO Talk Radio, so stay with us into the 9 o'clock hour. That way you can hear exactly what she says, and we'll react to it right after that on KCMO Talk Radio.